Okay, so it looks like he's plugging a GameCube controller into the back of a Sony BVM here and playing Super Smash Bros. Melee straight from the back of the Sony BVM. Shank, you're a madman and I absolutely love it. Hey everybody, welcome back today to Retro Tech. It is January 2023 and we have an amazing accomplishment in the world of the CRT. Yes, our good friend Shank over at Shank Mods has done something unbelievable. He has combined a Sony BVM D-Series monitor with a input card that goes in the back of this monitor and it is a Wii on a card so you get a full Wii on your video card that slides in the back of the Sony BVM and gives you a portable CRT apparently with full Wii capabilities so let's just get in here we're going to check out a little bit more on what I'm talking about First off, let's go check out Shank's thread. Uh, this is what we saw here earlier in the opening where we can see the Sony BVM right here. This is the D-Series D9 monitor. And uh, that little monitor doesn't have an input card normally standard with it. You have to add an input card. And so this is a great uh, homebrew project that is based around the work of another amazing uh, engineer in the hobby and field of retro, and that is Martin. And we're going to talk about Martin here in a second after we look quickly at this project and get a little bit more of an idea for what it is. Now, Shank has put some amazing pictures here of what he's done and the process that he worked through here on his Twitter, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So if you want to check this out, you can go to at Shank Mods and look at all these things first off this is the back of that sony bvm now you do see some vga style inputs here those are actually to communicate between the monitor and other communication devices so you can tell the monitor what to do with an external controller or a different monitor and uh, that way you can feed them into loops and again give them different commands that is not an input board so there's no video inputs through those inputs you have to use this bay area and add a card these are the original cards this is the most common and most popular one right here that's the bkm 129x from sony and that one gives you the ability to run rgb s or component video into this monitor and so that's the one that everybody wants it's the one that's the sony manufactured version of this and all this goes back to a friend of ours work that i mentioned a second ago that is martin heinfeld and he is an engineer who's been working on reverse engineering things for us like these amazing cards he did one for the bvm a series and the d series and he also has like some mini remotes. I've got a lot of his items here that I've just not had the time to really focus on and feature yet in full videos. But he does have a website where he's published all his work. It's open source, immerhacks.com right here. And you can see that he's been working on a remote for BVMs. Just a really passionate guy about CRTs in general and doing things like mods, fixing old uh, problems with display screens. And, and again, working a lot on crt projects so shank took what martin had done in reverse engineering this bkm 129x and he took that and he decided to take a trimmed down version of the wii motherboard that's what you're seeing right there on screen you can see it's smaller than the original card uh, so this is the pcb that he designed and threw together it does have some cooling it looks like um through this hole here and then your motherboard is installed right there on the wii and then it was based on arduino programming that is custom and here we go look at this we can see him actually just slide that's how those cards work you slide them in there and then once you power that bvm on whether you're using the original wall power or if you happen to have a battery pack that still manages to output enough voltage to power the bvm then you can use that uh, with this monitor and power this I have a completely portable CRT uh, on the go so that's pretty much everything on here that's been publicly knowledge from Shank himself it does look like this is not going to be a uh, thing that's readily available to the public I would not please do not go bothering Shank to make one of these 
Um, he just told me that this was a project he always wanted to do. I'm sure this might work and relay down the road to some big, huge thing he's doing. I have no idea. I'm just thankful that I got to see this and be a part of all this. Um, I've been like watching the progress of this whole project from Discord, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, the good thing is, is this expands on what the capabilities are of these open source cards. I'm not trying to say that, you know, uh, hopefully maybe Shank will publish a lot of this work. That's up to him, obviously. But this might lead to other things that are made into cards for BVMs. The good thing about this card is if you did have this reproduction card, you could put this in any of the L series PVMs. So that makes the 20 L5 uh, a fully amazing monitor that you can have a card to put a Wii in if you're smart enough to recreate what he has done once he, you know, shares those files publicly if that's something he wants to do. Uh, but if not, it's completely cool to just see this here and know that it's capable of doing this. If you want to find out more information on this, definitely check out Shank's social media profiles. And then finally, do watch the little short video, which I'll have clipped in a comment below and wow what a just an amazing project uh for the beginning of the year here from shank uh to do this because i feel like again this could lead down the road to um, other things that just could be invented that are cards and totally talk about something that is completely <laughs> customizable for a bvm but unnecessary, but just amazing. I love it. I love everything about this project. Thanks, Shank, again. Please, again, go check out his stuff. I appreciate it. Hey, I've got a lot of things coming this year, guys. I've just been uh, really pushing uh, things behind the scenes here in the shop. So look for a big video coming soon to let you know everything that's going on here. Uh, what we've got planned for 2023, I think it's going to be an awesome year. This little project was just too cool not to make a short video about. So if you're interested for more information, again, check out the things I have linked. I will also make a link to Martin's website and his social media profile so you can see some of the other things that he's working on for things like retro gaming, CRTs, and you know whatever else he's managing to uh, reverse engineer on his own. So thanks again, everybody. I'll see you all next time with some more retro content.